Good howdy folks, welcome back to another James Blackburn experience. This trail starts right next to Paseo del Norte as you can see to my right and it's paved at first but eventually here we will get down in the woods and it will be awesome. Out of all the Bosque trails that I've hiked so far in this series over the last month or so, this one takes the longest to get to the actual Bosque. You're on this paved trail for quite a bit from the parking lot. So I made a little mistake by uh, not getting a closer parking area, I guess. Maybe there might be something on the other side of the river to get down here quicker. But anyway, that's just a quick heads up for you guys. It does take a few minutes to walk down here. All right, almost across finally. Back to the forest. So this paved trail runs pretty much the entire length of the city of Albuquerque. You can bike or run or walk or take your horses on it. But there's also a lot of cool little side trails like this. Dirt trails that head down into the forest itself and we'll take a little short hike today down to the river. Still not too far from the highway right over there so you can probably really hear it. At least I know I can. It's loud. But we're gonna head down to the river and see what we can see down there. Alright usually I head away from civilization when I'm down here but I kind of wanted to come and check out underneath the bridge because when I canoed down here last year I saw a ton of graffiti down here and most of it's just graffiti made by idiots but some of it's, it actually has some uh, art like qualities to it so we're gonna go check some of that out you know the messed up part about graffiti is it covers almost every square inch down here and yet you never actually see anybody down here doing it some of these projects took hours, so it's kind of interesting to think that uh, somebody spent all that time down here, but you never see them here while they're doing it. Yeah, so there's a little bit more down here, too. That one's kind of funny. Yeah, so I'm directly underneath Paseo del Norte right now. Boy, I can hear it. Definitely sounds like rush hour up there. So there you go, a few more examples. Wow, it's not a single one of these things that hasn't been spray painted. I have a tendency to think that some of these people could be real artists if they chose to be instead of you know wandering around and graffitiing up a bridge where hardly anybody will ever see your stuff. Funny thing is this this is not any of the uh, graffiti that I saw from the river because what the stuff I saw was looked like it had been painted from the river itself. We're gonna go over and see if we can find it. just one piece of graffiti after the next in this wall over here as well I mean these took some work and some time and effort I'm not saying I'm impressed but maybe I am a little bit with the artwork Feels like I'm walking on pottery. So we're almost to the river finally. It's right there as you can see. We'll go down and take a look here in just a Meanwhile, I'd like to show you something else. All this dried up mud, and you can see a critter walked through here not long ago, and it's like almost like a piece of pottery. You can see it's all solidified, and that is how fossils begin, I bet. Right there. Just turns, starts in mud and turns into stone over time. Anyway, I think that's pretty cool. A 
this is certainly a different video for you guys. Normally I show you the beauty of the Bosque, not the graffiti of the Bosque. But I have been wanting to come down here and check this out for a while. Now I wonder, did they do that from a boat? Or was the river dry that year when they came out and did that? Because it's a lot of water between here and there. And these are still not the ones that I saw from the boat last year. They're on the other side of the one behind me, right over here. So on the other side of this wall, there is more graffiti, and that can't be filmed from here, but uh, you can see it from a boat. Go back and look at the video. You'll get to see it from the video from February 2016. I'll put the link up here at the end of the video for you guys to click on it. You can see the other graffiti that's over there. Now, I'm kind of curious about this one right here. It's probably the most artistic one I've seen down here. And it seems like such a waste to hide it under a bridge. This should be on a mural in the city somewhere. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe graffiti's easier to do than I think. Because there's an awful lot of interesting artwork down here. On top of uh, just some regular graffiti too. So I don't know. I have to look it up online. It probably takes time and effort to get good at this. But I'm still saying you shouldn't do it here in a public park get hired do it in the city paint a mural do something where folks can appreciate the art and you're not destroying an area for others that just want to enjoy it so that's the message of the day be good and you'll be good at it there you go there's some more graffiti out there that must have been done from a boat because that's right in the middle of the river and it looks like there's some more over there at the very other side of the river too Might be mistaken, but I think those are Sand Hill Cranes. Definitely Sand Hill Cranes. All right, back to the trail hiking now. Had enough of civilization, bridges, and graffiti. Now it's time to escape into the woods, find some solitude, and some silence including my own talking, which I will stop doing here in just a few minutes. All right, folks. For the first time in a while, I'm not hiking just to hike. I'm hiking to escape. I need to step away from the concrete jungle and the attitudes of humanity that are incorrect. Sometimes it burns me out. I get really tired of it. I get depressed. Last few days have been particularly tough for me. So, today's day is a day of escape. Escape into the forest. Man, oh man, it's definitely the time of year when the sandhill cranes are showing up. Maybe tomorrow on Thanksgiving I'll go to try to get some really good shots of them for you really close. Boy, look at all of them. Man, oh man, look at them all. And that's not even all of them. There's so many of them right now. Very, very awesome. Fear not, my friends. I might be a little down today, but I'll bounce back. I will strengthen up my resolve and I will continue the journey and make it through this crazy mixed up world and find my way again soon. This is actually a new trail for me. I've never been on this trail before, so it's a first. All right, slowly but surely, casting off the shackles of humanity, getting back to the forest. The only place I ever really truly feel happy. Kind of sad, but true. I can tell you, I'm getting closer to Sand Hill Cranes. I can really hear them. Maybe we'll get some more shots. Let's see, shall we? I love the fact that we have a river that goes right through town. It's pretty cool. My plan for this channel is to go until day 212 on these second batches of daily videos. And 
that will be January 1st, 2018. However, I do these every day and I question if I want to keep doing them or not. Because it's not really getting me anywhere. I mean, I do get to go on these awesome hikes and share them with some folks. And then later when I'm old and can't do much, I'll be able to watch all these adventures again. So there is advantages to that. All right, I know I mention these mountains a lot. They're about 12 miles to the east of here. They're called the Sandia Mountains. Definitely Google them if you get a chance. I'll tell you what, man, when those sandhill cranes come in, they, they're not kidding. There's tons of them. Wow. Beautiful. Wow, look how many there are. Boy, they sure are vocal. Yeah, I think it's official. Sandhill cranes have officially arrived in Albuquerque. They really like flying in a circle. Must be the place they're going to land here. Maybe a cornfield or something. It's definitely got to be a signal of some kind that this is the place to be for these critters. All right, folks, well, it's always interesting to be out here, and especially when the sandhill cranes are coming in this time of year. That was pretty awesome. It's just the necessary lift up I needed. I was feeling pretty bad when I got here, and now I'm feeling less bad. So that's always good, right? Now it's time to head back to the car and then head back to the office to get some work done. Yes, yes, yes. Just a quick reminder where I'm hiking at today. All right, folks, well, that wraps up another James Blackburn experience. Appreciate y'all tuning back in for, you know, the ups and downs of my life. I try to always be on the up if I can, but sometimes it just doesn't work. Sometimes depression can take over. But I'm battling it by just being out here. So anyway, have a wonderful day, everybody. And as usual, love, love, and hate, hate. Take care of each other.